Hey guys, um, I found um, a perfect example of a gully fern fiddlehead. Um, now, gully fern is a type of fern that can, that grows down in uh, lowland areas, near particularly uh, near water. So I'm right next to a stream, and I've just seen all this gully fern growing down here, and I thought I'd come check it out. So um, this little fiddlehead here is um, the part of the gully fern that you can eat, and um, just a word of warning for you guys, uh, ferns are known to be um, slightly carcinogenic, so that means that they do have like poisonous uh, alcohol, alkaloids in them, um, which is why people say you can only eat 7 out of 250 types of ferns that we have in New Zealand. However, um, the levels of the carcinogens are pretty low, you're not going to die if you eat them, but um, it's better to boil them and to stick to the common species that are known to be edible. So one of those is the gully fern, and you can identify the gully fern by its distinct um, groove that's it's got a groove in the stalk which I'll show you over here on this example um, of the leaf like straight down the middle you can see a slight groove in the middle and the leaves are quite um, sparse they and they also have these um, uh, little I guess you call them like sporangia or something like underneath the, the leaves and uh, so yeah, just keep an eye out for the main uh, characteristics of the the groove in the spot in the the stem, uh, the kind of round shape of the leaves, and uh, the spores that are lined up like that in twos along the leaf like that, and um, the fiddlehead. Uh, it's quite light green. It's got tiny little leaves on it like this. And it's got these little brown hairs on it. So um, when you're looking at it, um, definitely compare it to photos on the internet. There's some great articles about um, ferns uh, by the New Zealand Geographic. Uh, that's a great article. Have a look for that if you want to learn more more about ferns. So um, uh, I'll just give you a quick story about the the uh, gully fern. Um, Apparently it was mostly eaten by the uh, uh, Te Uruwera tribe, uh, they uh, enjoyed the, the gully fern and I also tried one myself not so long ago and uh, I didn't actually cook it long enough so I highly recommend if you do want to eat fern fiddleheads that you boil them for as long as you can, not until it's like not non-existent but like till it's uh, pretty soft you know a good five or ten minutes because I didn't even I didn't cook it for very long at all and I ate it and it and it tasted disgusting and um, I felt immediately sick and uh, I was freaking out that I was poisoned but I was actually okay so um, yeah just make sure you cook them uh, for, for quite a while before you eat them and uh, yeah make sure you're hundred percent sure you know what kind of fern you're eating even though you're not gonna die if you eat it but um, yeah just keep bear that in mind for when you go looking for fern fiddleheads okay bye guys